Hey guys, welcome to Tech Learnings. Today we are going to continue with the puzzle series and we are going to learn one new puzzle. So the statement of uh, the puzzle is that you have an array which is containing only zeros and ones, all right? And you have to sort that array so that uh, your zeros come ahead of uh, your ones, all right? Or in other words, you can say that you have zeros and ones and you want to separate out the uh, zeros and ones, all right? Or you want to arrange uh, those zeros and ones in a way that your zeros are uh, ahead of all the ones. Okay, so it, uh, the wording can be changed, but the meaning is, the core meaning is that you have to sort this array of zeros and ones okay now before uh, uh, going forward and understanding the solution i would request you to just think yourself as well and that what can be the solution of uh, this problem all right so i hope you thought about it and uh, let's try to discuss uh, and understand one such approach uh, uh, which can solve this problem in a minimum time and uh, minimum space complexity. Of course, there can be uh, the other solutions or other approaches as well. And uh, we are going to discuss one such approach. Now, what is the approach that uh, you need to keep uh, two pointers, you can say. One is I, which is uh, basically the pointer which or you can say a variable which will which you will put in the beginning okay and let me put it like this uh, and another is uh, j let's say we call it j so a variable at the end and uh, a variable in the beginning or pointer whatever you call it okay so i try to write a kind of pseudo code here so we are going to uh, run across uh, this array so while i is less than j all right so then what you have to do then i say because if you see uh, this okay let me put it here in the input not of the output so that we understand better all right okay now if you see uh, these uh, zeros right these are already and the correct place so what we can do is we can put up a loop with the condition uh, let's say if your arr of i is equals to zero all right if that is zero and your i is still less than j then what you do uh, you just increment i by one index okay so if you see what this loop uh, will do or how will it help us that uh, since it's already zero we know these are the correct numbers these are already arranged so we just need to increment i so i will come so after the loop execution is over so where will be i i will be at this particular index all right similarly uh, about j also we can do the same all right so what you can write here while arr of uh, j is equals to one and again i is less than j so j minus minus so decrement j by one index all right so initially j was here at the last index okay then when uh, this loop loops execution gets over so where will be j j will be at this index all right so uh, all the indexes or all the ones which are after uh, the value of uh, this j they are in their correct positions and similarly all the zeros which are before i they are now in the correct positions as well i took input in such a way so that we can understand this uh, specs as well so now 
we had a condition let's say if your i is less than j then what you need to do is that it should be zero and it should be one right so we just add arr of i is equals to zero all right so what will happen that this will be now zero all right and similarly arr of j and let's make it to one so this will be one fine and what we do we increment i by one index and similarly we decrement j by one index okay so i guess j should be here now all right so again coming back to the starting i is still less than j and again our loop so where will be i after this so i should be here all right okay so after while j is less than one and i is still less than j so j should be uh, here so after the end of the uh, loop of j as well i and j will be both at same positions right same indexes so i is less than j this condition will be false so if this condition is false i is less than j now this loops execution is also over and you can also see that uh, the array is sorted right so this is how you can uh, uh, sort out uh, the array which is containing only zeros and ones so in this case we have not used any other data structure and uh, the another plus point is that we have uh, traversed our array only once okay so this is uh, about this solution or this approach i hope you understood it all right let me know through your comments uh, if you have any doubts or if you uh, if you know some better solutions uh, like i said there are other solutions or other approaches to puzzles so let me know uh, or if you have any doubt regarding the understanding of uh, this puzzle as well so your feedback comments questions are always welcome as always okay so thank you so much for watching the video and uh, see you next time bye bye good night